In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, not only am I going to take you thrifting with me, but I'm also going to show you how we can turn these thrift store items into money. I get a lot of people who ask me about pricing. They ask, you know, what could we get for this? How much would you price this at? So I'm going to show you while we're thrifting what I would price it at and how much we're going to make. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's dive in. One quick note before we get started though, if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name is Kelly Sherry. I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. I also take you along shopping with us as my mom and I go to garage sales, flea markets, and thrift stores. So I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. When my mom and I do vintage markets, we are just swamped with people. We have lines all day long. And I think it's probably because we have not only good items, but we're very fair with our pricing. So I'm just going to go through what I pick things up for and what I would price them at. Now, I haven't been to the thrift stores in my local area for a while because I've been garage sailing and going to flea markets, but I am really excited to see what we're going to find today. So we're pulling up to the Salvation Army in Utica, Michigan. So the first thing I saw when I went into this one was this sign. These signs sell so well for me, and this sign is only $5.99. I probably can get $12 to $14 for it, so we're definitely going to get that. Now the next thing I saw that was right next to the sign was this wire basket that had cement balls in it. Now I thought this would look really good on a coffee table and the cement balls were just awesome in it. Now I'm trying to get this down without breaking anything but I quickly noticed the price and they wanted $24.95. We cannot make any money on this so we're going to put it back. Now, if you were to purchase this, you would want to purchase it at no more than $8, and then you would put the price at $24 to $26, making a nice profit for yourself. But seeing that this is at $24.95, this is a no-go. Now, if you know me, I love the wood aisle. Now, this is pretty cute, this love box, but there is no price that I'm seeing on it, and I really think that we're not going to make but just a few dollars on it. It's more for Valentine's Day. And it needs a little work, so we're just going to put it back. These hoops are really cool. You can make a sphere with them. But this is more of a project, and you have to figure in your time. So I just want to pick things that we can easily kind of flip. Now with Christmas coming, these board signs are perfect. You can stencil something on there. You can put a vinyl decal on, and boom, sold. This is $3.99, but we could easily sell it for $14 and make a $10 profit. Now, I have a few of these bread boxes already, but these are really good sellers. If you can pick them up for $8, you can easily sell them for $24. Ooh, here's another sign. See, we're going to have to get this. Signs definitely sell if they're done nicely. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Yeah, I'm snatching these up because $10, that's $30 right there that we're going to make. Oh geez, I'm like a bull in a china shop today. Oh, this you and me sign, I know I could sell this. This is made out of enamel and it's only $2.99. We can easily get eight to $10 for it. Now this wooden decorative coffee pot, it's really cool, it's very unique but this is something that you might not want to take a gamble on. This is $8.99, and who knows if it's going to appeal to the masses. So this is something I probably would pass on. 
Now these, I know I can sell these all day long, especially with Christmas coming up. Just check these out. I'm not seeing a price on them, but it's worth asking because these are gonna appeal to a lot of people. She ended up selling them to me for $2.99 and I can easily get $10 for them. My mom always says you have to look out for your seasonal stuff. It could be July when you're looking at Christmas, but those seasons are going to come up and then you're going to have the stuff. You have to get it when you find it. And then I came across this little cutie pie. Just check her out. Is she not adorable or what? Now I didn't get her and I'm really having regrets. I'm almost thinking about going back there today, but she's only $6.99 and you could get $14 to $18 for her. Do you see this chandelier picture? Now, I wanna tell you something about one of these. A couple years back when I was at Springfield, I came across this large uh, chandelier print and I bought it for $15. It was such a steal, I couldn't even believe it. But I think it was big and she just wanted to get rid of it. I ended up selling it for $95. That was a huge profit. So now I'm seeing this one and it's $15.99, but the only thing is it has this shiny protective coating over it, which makes it look very weird. If it was like a matte finish, I would pick it up in a minute, but because it has that coating, I'm gonna pass on this. See, you're able to see it a little better here. It is just way too glossy. It looks like someone dumped a whole bunch of epoxy on it. Bok bok, what do we have here? A chicken. Oh, I know I can sell this. So it's $4.99 and I definitely can get 10 to $12 for it. So it's going in the basket. Wow, what a big clock. Hey, do you guys remember the big clock I got from here okay, a while back? So I'm turning the corner and I come across this clock. Oh my gosh, look at this clock. I love it. Oh my gosh. I mean, no, really, you've got to look at this. Look at the detail. So after much hemming and hawing about whether I needed a big clock, I ended up getting it. I bought it for $37.95, and if I were to have sold it, I would have sold it for $125, making it over an $85 profit which goes to show you that clocks can be pretty profitable if they have the right look. Now this one here, the face has the right look, but the pointy leather exterior, it's just not on point, so I would not get this. This is a toile print, which is a French term for canvas, and it is very popular. You can make pillows out of it, and it just has that cool look of black and white imagery. I first showed you this kind of print when we went to the flea market and we came across a vendor called the Artful Road. And she was selling this for $15. Again, you can make pillows, you can use it as a runner. It's just a really desirable kind of print. So with these being $4.99, you could definitely double your money on them. And if you made them into pillows, you could even make more on them. This was like a brand new crisp buffalo check pillow. And although the tag didn't have a price on it, I'm imagining it would probably be about $4.99 and you could sell this pillow for $15. I really like this wooden candlestick for $2.99. I would probably keep it this color because I like this, but you could also paint it white and you could get $8 for it. These are the items that I'm definitely gonna get. As you saw, I could have probably bought so much more, but we're just gonna keep it at this. I spent $29.61 on this, and we are gonna make a $68 profit on that. Now this next door is where I found a ton of stuff. This is the Salvation Army in Shelby Township. Normally I find this one a little higher in price. Remember when they had that mannequin for $150? It was completely outrageous. And then I showed you where you could find one on eBay for $50. So they were way off on pricing. But I was able to find a lot of stuff here today. And this wooden cubby box was the first thing I came across. This wood just has the perfect look to it and it would be great for any kind of display. 
it's $7.99 and I can get $18 for it. Farmhouse is always a big seller for me, so whenever I see pigs or cows, I pick them up. This weather vane is only $5.99 and we could get probably $15 for this. Oh, look what we found here. See, again, this is farmhouse. This is a rooster. It's going to sell. As a matter of fact, I actually had picked one up last year and sold it immediately. This one is $5.99 and we can get $12 for it. This is nice and ornate, but I don't know if I really want this. So maybe I'm just going to put this back. This is a definite no. Like my mom says, you have to look up, you have to look down. You just never know where something could be hiding, something really good. Oh, what do we have here? This is kind of cute. I'm liking this. This would be perfect for Valentine's Day. It's only $2.99, but it's plastic, so it feels cheap, so I'm going to put it back. Now, I'm really loving this. This has the perfect white chippy look. And at $3.99, we're going to have to get this, because I can sell this for $12, which will allow us to triple our money. Now, this is a cute little pail. It's only $1.99, but you probably would not make very much if you sold it by itself. But Christmas is coming up, and we can put, like, a seedling in there or a little tree and make, you know, maybe, like, 8 or $9 off of it. Now this planter is really cool. It's heavy and it's only $3.99. We could use it during Christmas time. We can paint it chippy white and we can add a tree or we could even make a tree and we could sell this for $15. Oh, look at this pumpkin. It looks like something from Pottery Barn. Now I know Halloween's almost over, but remember what my mom said. You have to pick things up when you find it. And this is $3.99 and we could get $14 for this. So we are gonna get it if I don't break it. Now buying candles that are a natural color or white, when you see them is a good idea to pick them up because it's not that you're gonna make all kinds of money off them, but you can add them into your stuff, which adds value to your stuff and you can get more money. So when I do see that candles are reasonable, I put them in the basket. Now there was something that was drawing me to this little bike. I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was very unusual. It's something that I would not normally get, but it was white tag day and this is half off. So I'm willing to take the gamble. This is $14.99, so it's gonna cost me $7.50, but I think I can sell it for $18. Ooh, I'm really liking this. It is a big metal and sign and it has the wire backing. It would look great on someone's wall. This is $9.95, but I think I can get $18 to $20 for it. Now these are grand. They look like something out of a mansion. We're going to have to take them down and look. This says it's $8.99, but we could get $22 if we just rip the ivy off. Yep, I'm gonna get this. This is a no-brainer, but that ivy has to go. It's making it look very dated and it also cheapens the look. All right, let's look at this other one. This one too is $8.99, but if I paint this white, we can get $24 for this one for sure. Yeah, just look at them. They are really grand and they have that look. We're getting a nice collection of stuff here. I really like this cabinet, but it's $18.99 and I feel like I'm only going to get about $26 for it. And it is a larger piece. We're going to have to store it, so we're just going to pass on it. I was walking down the aisle when I noticed this face. This face is very heavy. It's like the one I have in cast iron. Someone painted this one beige, but I'm going to paint it black. It is half off, it's $9.99, so we're gonna get it for $5, and I can sell it for $28. 
Oh my goodness, I think I need this. It even has a bird on it. My mom loves birds and this thing looks like it's cement. Love it. It is $19.99, which is more on the higher side. However, I really think I could get $34 for it, so I am gonna purchase it. Oh, this hot cocoa tray, it's only $3.99, and Christmas is coming up. I think it would be perfect to sell. We probably can get about $14 to $15 for it. Oh, this clock has the right look. This clock is going right in the basket. I could sell this all day long. It is $15.99, but I can sell it for $28, which will make it well worth it. I am loving everything I found so far. This is kind of cute, but I think I'd probably only get $6 for it, and I'm not really in love with it. These milk glass faces go for $10 to $12. They're $2.99 here. However, I see a lot of them around, so for that reason, we're not going to get these. But there's still a good profit to be made if you wanted to purchase them. Whoever styled this faux fur with this basket had really good vision because these two pair well with each other. We're just going to take a quick look over on this table just to see if we're missing anything. All right, so going back to the basket, I really like these two together. However, they really need to stay together. This faux fur is $9.99 and the basket here is $14.99. So that is just way too much money to keep these both together in hopes that they sell. And if one sells and the other one doesn't, I don't know how good they'd be on their own. So I think we're just gonna have to pass on that, but it does give us a good idea if we come across a basket and a faux fur that are reasonably priced and that we could flip. Again, signs sell really good for me. This one is $6.99 and I probably could get about $18 for it. However, at this point, I am being selective because I have a cart full. Actually, I'm starting to feel a little coconut willy crazy for the amount of stuff I have. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and make our way up to the cash register. All right, so our total was $121.21. And we're gonna make $168 profit on this shopping spree. Now I want you to keep in mind that the Salvation Armies are not as cheap as they once were. However, you still can make a good profit. You can double your money, you can even triple your money. But in order to get really good profits, you really wanna hit those garage sales, the flea markets. People are just wanting to get rid of stuff and you will pick them up really cheap and make some good money. Now we're gonna to head to my favorite Salvation Army. It's in Rochester, Michigan. I always find tons of stuff here and I cannot wait to see what we find. Now, if you can find furniture that you can flip at a good price, then you will make a great profit on that. So I always check out the furniture when I'm here. You never know what you're gonna see. I once bought this very dresser that you see here at the Salvation Army for $65. It was completely painted. I didn't have to do one thing to it and I flipped it for $250. So yeah, it's good to keep your eye out for furniture pieces that you could flip easily. I think we should always choose joy. These wooden bowls are good to pick up they're great filler bowls. Normally I can pick these bowls up for like $4, but this one here says it's $6.99, that's $7. And if I sell this bowl at $10, it's just really not worth painting it and doing all the work to it. So this is a little high priced. Oh wow, that's one of those old silhouette pictures. Remember I first showed you them when we went to that barn sale? All right, so I have the silhouette pictures. I know there's another one, there's a man. Oh, here we go. I got these here. Again, I've been seeing these everywhere. They're like really hot right now. Um, I saw like 
on Pinterest. Someone did a whole collage. And then, you know, like they had like an old license plate. They had maybe some newspaper clippings in a frame. And then they also had this, you know, like a silhouette. Everything was done in black and white. And not to say that you couldn't do that, but I think these are worth some money. Now I went on eBay and I saw which ones have sold and how much they went for. They range from $7.99 to $50. Now this one is a more common kind of one. So I would imagine it's going to be in the $7.99 range. And this is what they have it priced at. So we're going to have to pass on this because there's really no money to be made on it. Now, this would be really cool if it didn't have that big knob in the middle. What that's for, I have no clue, but this is something I'm going to need to pass on. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, I am really loving this. $19.99, are you kidding me? No wonder this thing is still here. It's priced way too high. They must have the lady who priced the dress for him working here. Now you would only buy this if it was for yourself. You could not make any profit on it. Sheep sell really good. However, this is a little cheesy. It says pair of sheep. It's sort of like a pun. And I'm not even sure how much it is because I'm not seeing a price tag. All right, here's something we definitely could get. Love this sign, but $14.99. Oh my gosh, you guys, what has happened to my favorite store? Oh my gosh, it's a scale and we can definitely sell these, but not at $29.99. I just can't even believe this. I remember last year I picked up this scale for $14.99 from this exact store. And now they're asking double for a scale. That's crazy. After the whole sticker shock thing, I came across these bowls, five for $4.99. That is a little more reasonably priced than what you would expect from a thrift store. But I'm still not sold on whether I should get them or not. They are a fabulous price, but I just don't know if I want to put plants in them or what I would do with them. So I probably am going to pass on this. Now these are really cute, but look, one of the bird's beaks are broken and they want $8.99 for each of them. I didn't see one thing that had a white tag that I liked. It seems like everything was picked through here and the things that were left that were good were really marked up high and that's why they were still on the shelves. I think we should hit one more thrift store. Let's go to the St. Vincent de Paul. They're always fabulously priced. All right, so this is the new Vincent de Paul. They recently moved and it's a really nice clean store. Oh, I really like this little plant. I wanna get this. It's only $1.99 and I can sell it for $7. My, my, look at these bowls. They're wonderful. I love the wood. And I love the inside. Yeah, very cool. This is a really good set. I like the detail on the side. It's two dressers and that mirror, but it looks like it's sold because I don't see a tag on it anymore. I've always found some great furniture at the St. Vincent de Paul. As a matter of fact, my shelves that are in my booth, that came from there. I bought them for $69 each. I painted them with Annie Sloan paint and they look fabulous. This is cute for $4.99. Add some paint and we can get $12 to $14 for it. Oh, and look at the little basket. It's like the one me and Delane did. If you don't remember, Delane was one of the viewers. I traveled to her house. She took me to the thrift stores there. We did a project together. My family was like afraid that she was a serial killer or something. I'll hold this up and then I could hit you in the head with it. <laughs> 
<laughs> because my family was afraid that she was going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> The night's not over. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, watch it. It's hilarious. Anyway, this basket is a steal at $2.99. You could turn around and sell it for $14. I think I'm going to have to get this angel. I can totally see it in a Christmas display. Now, there wasn't a price on it, but the lady gave it to me for $1.99. I probably could sell that angel for $8. I'm always on the hunt for black and white throws, especially the ones that have the check pattern. I can sell those very easily. Now this one was only $2.99 and it did have a cool pattern, but it just had too many little balls on it. So I decided to pass on this one. But when you're out, definitely look for those because they're a great seller. I literally used one of these in last week's video. It was in the Halloween decorating display. Now this is only $1.99 and we can sell it for $12. Now we didn't spend a whole lot at the St. Vincent de Paul. Actually, we only spent $6.33, but our profit here is $21 making that a grand total of $257 in profits that we'll make. Now keep in mind, if we had bought this stuff from a garage sale, we potentially could have saved $75 adding to our profit because the prices are so low. Now at the Salvation Army, we did have to pay a little bit higher. However, we're still making a decent profit for just three hours out shopping. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Flea Market Rescue. If you like this episode and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.